a return of a familiar playlist with an updated maps as well, and top of that, some updates on the toggle system coming for Halo 3. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, you tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date. Let's jump right into it. So as we do every Friday, we get a little bit of an MCC development update from Postums. On this Friday, he posted up talking about a little bit about the toggle and some returning playlists with an updated map pool as well. So starting off with the first thing that's coming for you guys is on January 20th, we're getting a matchmaking ranked update. Looks like they'll be moving out Halo 2 Classic and replacing it in with Halo Reach Team Hardcore. But hold up, there's actually some other things happening with this as well. It's not just, okay, Halo Reach, cool, whatever. There's some more stuff here. Specifically, they actually updated one of the maps, The Pit, which is a remake that was made in Forge World. Well, it seems like they had it rebuilt in the Tempest version now. I'm assuming maybe for better frame rates or something like that. Probably happening with the map so it could run better on Tempest. And uh, it was made by Run Knockyard Run, who's a very prominent forger within the Halo community. And they do mention how they're kind of looking to kind of brighten up the maps a little bit uh, throughout the Halo Reach's map pools in general as well to bring in some more color with the elements to kind of take advantage of the Forge update that came with Halo Reach back in July. This update to the pit will actually be really nice because I definitely have noticed at least playing on the Xbox version and I also a little bit on the PC version as well that sometimes some frame rate dri dips will happen with the game. So maybe moving it over to Tempest instead of it being on Forge World will give it less things to kind of render outside the world so then you have a smoother frame rate experience and also bringing in some more color will help give players better visual indication of where they are in the map. Since it is a symmetrical map, I can understand for like a newer player to get kind of lost, be like, wait, am I a red side or blue side? Which side is red or blue? Like you can't really tell without really like knowing the map super well <laughs> because uh, that's just how the color palette is within Halo Reach when it comes to the forging. So I'm certainly looking forward to this Halo Reach map update. Hopefully it gets put into other maps as well within the Halo Reach's map pool as well to kind of just liven it up a little bit and take advantage of what 343 is brought to the MCC because right now I think all we're doing is just playing the old school versions that were on the 360 which are nice you know it's like you know you're playing it just as it shipped 10 years ago kind of moment but uh you know it's it's 2021 and we have all these new features to take advantage of I say why not do that as long as you kind of keep the same classic feel like keep the cage but maybe make it flashier or something like that. So it doesn't seem like we'll be getting any new maps. Maybe we will be getting some new maps. If we do, I'll definitely let you guys know on this channel, but it seems like they're, what they're gonna try to do is try to emphasize more of the coloring options that are available to try to get away from that gray aesthetic that kind of haunts most of the Forge maps in Halo Reach. I just hope people play this. I love Halo Reach Hardcore. You know, it's my highest rank in MCC and uh, you know, I just hope it people decide to play. I'll definitely be jumping on in it. And if anyone jumps in to play with it as well, I'll just let you guys know how the experience is on those maps. The one thing they need to take in consideration, like yeah, it's great that Halo Reach Hardcore is coming back to the MCC for I believe the month. But the thing is, is like, there's not really gonna be a whole lot of incentive to jump in and grind out ranks when it's gonna be gone in a month and you probably won't be able to play reach hardcore again for maybe like three or four months even so there's a lot of issues that kind of comes with this rotational playlist that they have happening for halo mcc right now and i also don't expect them to implement any kind of new weapon scan or anything like that to get people like a reason why to jump in and play this i mean maybe they can be able to make like some kind of nameplate that incentivize people to jump in to play these rotational ranked playlists but it's hard enough to get people to play like these new incentives that they've been doing recently, especially with uh, Recon Slayer and also with Halo 4's uh, ranked playlist as well, excellent incentive. It's gotten a lot of people to jump in and play. I know a lot of people who have played ranked Halo 4, which I know if these incentives for like weapon skins were not in the game, they definitely would have not been playing that. So it's been shown that this works. I just really hope that they decide to bring something like that for every new rotational ranked playlist that they bring in the MCC. Because if it's just like, hey, play this, jump in and play it, then like, I don't think it's really much incentive for people to do it. And it just would be dead on arrival, really. So I hope this is something that 343 will improve on throughout the year of MCC, because this game really needs to carry the community for another year until Halo Infinite's release. 
And now we also have an update on the toggle option that's gonna be coming in to Halo 3 for the customization. As you guys probably know by now, in season five, we'll be getting new armor customization options in Halo 3, but these armor customization options are coming from Halo Online, which was kind of like a thrown away, free to play Russian ver PC version of Halo that they were, were going to work on. They just kind of got tossed away and later got came in back with El Dorito back in 2018. Well, it looks like they're implementing some of the new armor customization. I'm really happy about it. I know a lot of people though aren't exactly happy about it, especially with some of the classic titles on the 360 being sunset at the end of 2021. I'm sure they're probably looking to do a more preservation kind of style when it comes to MCC, rather than just trying to have some fun with it. And they try to satisfy both fans who want the new options to play around with stuff, but also satisfy the old fans who want to have that same classic experience just with higher frame rates and better resolution. Well, it looks like that's going to be happening with the MCC. Well, 343 does state here that they said that they are happy to report that the feature is going to be coming to MCC. This is the first time in any official capacity that they've mentioned the toggle option. They've mentioned it previously, like on offhand comments on Reddit. This is the first official statement that the toggle option is coming to Halo 3. But they're looking to kind of add it in with the toggle skin option that's currently within the game. So basically just make it so then if you want to have all the new fun options that you can add to the MCC, you can turn that on. And if you want to turn all that off, including like all the weapon skins, all the vehicle skins, all the new armor sets coming in, you have a disable option for that. So it's kind of all in or all off kind of option, which kind of begs the question, what if someone's wearing some new armor set in the update of season five, but you know, you have that disabled. What kind of armor set are they gonna be wearing? Well, they're gonna be defaulting their way to the Mark VI armor set. This is kind of like your standard form that you would see in Halo 3's multiplayer. Now, I'm sure there's some people out there that would like to have the option to be able to choose, you know, maybe just the armor or just the weapons or just the vehicle scans. But I think overall, I think just to save 343 some time and effort, because they have a lot of other things looking to do with MCC. I think just having this all or nothing option Probably just the best way to go about doing it. Now you're thinking, okay, season five, it's coming around the corner, right? It should be happening this month. When is it gonna happen? Well, they actually don't mention it in this development update. Though I do suspect season five to be released within January, just because it would line up properly for season 10, which is gonna be the last planned season at the moment, starting in November, which is most likely the release month of Halo Infinite. So that would all just kind of make sense. And it seems like seasons kind of have to almost re release on a Tuesday for whatever reason 343 likes Tuesday so I would suspect either the 19th which is next Tuesday or the 26th would be the last Tuesday of the month again once we get a confirmed date I'll let you guys know on this channel so make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date with all the Halo information going around what are your guys' thoughts on the toggle option do you like having the all in or all off kind of option are you looking forward to the new armor sets coming in season 5 let me know in the comment section down below I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well if you're new to the channel check out the videos on the screen right here I got a link to all my news and informational videos we've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.